Let's settle in and have a cup of tea. Hello and welcome to The Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. Today I'm having a little catch up with myself. I'm slowing down and I'm having a think about what I've done this month, what I would like to do and future projects and plans. But also I'm just taking a little moment, taking a little break. And I think that it's really important that you can do that because sometimes when you've had a busy time, when things threaten to take over, it is easy to put the journaling, put the creativity to one side and then feel like you haven't left enough time for yourself to breathe, to unwind, to get into that creative space. And I think for me now, just at the moment, um, I'm not in a creative mood. Something's just happened. I've actually dropped my phone and the screen has broken and that has threatened to undermine my creativity today. So when you've had something like that happen to you, those unavoidable little events that, that we just, we can't prevent because it's just life. These things happen um, and they're disappointing. You You just have to think, well, what I was going to do isn't going to happen now because I am not approaching that task in the right frame of mind. And if that's you, if you feel like you're approaching something, trying to sit down and do, you've you've set the time to make something and it's just not coming, you're just not there, you've lost your mojo because there's something else that's on your mind, then... It's a double-edged sword. You can either sit down and start playing and what you'll find is your problems start melting away. But also, sometimes it's just best to come and sit. Just sit at your craft table and just think, well, um, I'm not in the mood for anything, but if I start something, then maybe I will. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just sort of showing you that it's okay to not have that motivation, that things sometimes do take over and we can't always get into the creative mindset but I'm just going to undo this and let's see what happens. So this video is supposed to be the April alchemy. This has been a brilliant, brilliant experimental time where I've been looking at things. It's also been a very, very difficult time, um, a, quite a busy time in my personal life as I finish up one job. I do have another job outside of the treasured page. I don't ever consider the treasured page a job. This is my passion, my relaxation, my hobby, and it's something that I pull you along into and I thank you each and every one of you for all your wonderful support and uh, you just enrich the time that I'm able to spend here but fortunately I hope that I will be spending more time here as I finish now the last the last week of a job that I've had for four years and I'm very thankful to be passing that on leaving that chapter to uh, to go to somebody else <laughs> so that I can now move forward in what I would like to do because we're all growing aren't we so it's nice to move forward from something that could have otherwise held me back so there we go there that's happening I do have another job and that is outside of this and that and that's great and I can manage that and that's a little bit more flexible so I'm hoping now that I will be able to come and spend more time doing what I love and that is the goal isn't it we all need to try and strive to make time for us and so I am following that and uh and here is, you know, the result of being able to work through things, work through problems. You find what works for you and then that is what you need to pursue. So we've been looking at this. This is absolutely fantastic. It's all coming together. What I wanted the last few days of April to be about is to pull together and consolidate what we've learned. So that video will be coming up. Um, it's not this video. This video, I've lost my mojo. <laughs> this video is about getting back the mojo and just bringing up some inspiration. Um, I can feel that there's another journal, another project that's on the horizon. So there's something that's taking place and there's some very odd things happening. Um, by that I mean signs. I, I, I feel drawn to certain things or I'm feeling influences coming at me and it's too much to ignore. And, it's, and I'll try and explain. Now if I remove the pages from this with the elastic, we'll be able to see in the middle here is a map. And the map is actually of Canada. This says Canada. We can just about make it out. Um, 
and there's the map of Canada and what it says is Labrador and this was made for me and sent to me last year by Jeanette who is in our swap group and she posts regularly up on the Facebook page. Now, Labrador is a region in Canada so all the Canadians out there hello hi I have got this funny sort of connection at the moment. Canada keeps coming through quite strongly, so I've, I've got it there, I've got it there. But oddly, this ring that I wear quite frequently on the channel it has got a gemstone in it, which is Labradite, and it comes from Labrador in Canada. So those are the little connections, little signs, little things. Then I'm also watching a television series at the moment and this is where couples from England have travelled over to Canada. They've been given a budget and they have to get themselves to Toronto to uh, Alaska and back and they're in Quebec at the moment to do all sorts of things and uh, tasks that to get themselves with a very limited budget and it's a race between several groups of people that have been struggling to speak French, they've been bowled over by the kindness of the people that they have encountered and it's just really exciting and I've been watching it and so it's Canada, Canada, Canada. Then a while ago I received a message from Instagram. A subscriber here from the channel got in contact with me, she'd been watching the Marianne North Journal, The Making Of, and she said I've got some stamps that I'd like to send you for um, adding to the journal, would you like them? I said yes of course I'd like some stamps. <laughs> How wonderful and um, I we and and I gave her my address and she said she would send me a parcel well a month went by and nothing happened and then I received another message from her and she said have you received my parcel and I said no I'm so sorry I haven't I haven't received your parcel at all and I said well where are you posting from and, and when did you post and she said well I've posted it several weeks ago and I am from Canada wow okay this is the, I can't ignore this there's lots of little things about Canada coming in okay so then two days later this arrives from Canada and it is from the lady who's trying to send me stamps but this is far too big for stamps and if that wasn't enough, I'd also been sent another parcel from the washi tape shop, which I would, which I've been asked to do an unboxing video on, which I will do. Where are they based? Toronto. What's going on, guys? There's a real Canada vibe happening. And here. so I have got this parcel. Well, I haven't opened it. I thought I'd do it with you guys here. Canada Post tells me to flip over. Flip over. How amazing is that? An actual sticker to tell you to flip over. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> presumably that was for the postman but look at this this is all made up of washi tape which... let's have a look Ooh. oh my goodness what have you sent me oh look at this right let's pull this out oh wow oh this is fabulous oh okay there's a little note and just flip that over wow and we'll have a little look Oh my goodness me. Well, this is officially happy mail. <laughs> it's happy mail because this is not a swap I was expecting and it is really, really lovely. So I'm just going to read the note and then I'll decide whether I can read it out to you. So let me just have a little Okay, look. I'm going to read this because although it's a personal message, I think it rings true for a lot of people. So I'm just going to read out what has been said here. And um, let's call the lady S from Canada. So this is with huge thanks to S from Canada. Hello, Melanie. Here are the Seychelles stamps for your Marion North Journal. I've also enclosed a few other bits and pieces I thought you might like. Thank you so much for all the effort you put into your videos. I love your format and storytelling. You are very inspiring. Life has been really hard for the last few years, for many of us, I think. Crafting makes a huge difference in my ability to cope. It is so therapeutic. I want you to know what a big impact, a positive one, you have on me and others. What you are doing matters and makes a difference. Thank you. From S. <gasps> yes. Now, S from Canada. I hear you 
and I hear a lot of people saying this and I know from my own personal experience how much this helps, how much this helps us all to reconnect back in with ourselves, with others, with our creativity, builds our confidence and it helps us get through what is ahead. I talk about this a lot on my podcast and also on my podcast I don't put on adverts. I'm not making money from it. I don't want that to be the case. I am trying to do something that's kind. I realise how rotten, I realise how we can get kicked down when when life throws off something that is really not easy to deal with and I have been down there at the bottom and I am clawing my way up and you have seen that over the last year as much as I've tried my hardest to pull you along with me because it is hard and it can be done and it just takes time. So thank you so much for those wonderful words. I know that resonates with so many of the subscribers here that we are going through things. Everybody has a different story um, and we are just able to connect over something as simple and as wonderful as paper and glue and just to build that space and that time for ourselves and just recognise that, yeah, the, the last few years have been difficult and the, the years ahead are going to be something that we are going to work on and rebuild, rebuild ourselves back up. So there we go. That that's that's said now. And um, that is why that is mainly why I'm here. <laughs> it is why I'm here. I'm here for myself to heal, to to be to feel better to progress to change to change my life to you know get rid of a job that I don't enjoy anymore that uh, that's a lovely job and it'll be great for somebody else but it's not right for me and what's right for me is to do what I need to do so is the message is making time for you and I I really really applaud all of this and and the fact that I've got these lovely flowers shining back at me and ju just some wonderful, wonderful thing. Look, oh my, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. So this is a break. This is a cup of tea moment, just a little catch up, something nice that's come through the door for me. And I am going to be, I am going to be there for you. I am going to continue with the videos, um, and I have got this little connection with Canada at the moment. And just, just shout out to you guys over there. It's the second largest uh, country that we have. It's amazing. Um, you know, you haven't got to travel far before you realise you need some sort of bear spray. Bear spray. I mean, we don't have bears in England, so it's just fascinating. I, I really honestly think I want to go to Canada right now. Look at this. What a lovely, what a lovely dark blue. I love dark blue, navy blue, navy blue lace trim. Isn't that lovely? Those colours just go really nicely together, don't they? Wow. This is super. I love this sort of um, trim. It's just got a lovely texture to it. You've really got, you've really picked up on my things that I like here. <laughs> I like everything, so it's not hard. <laughs> right, what are we doing? Oh my goodness, the Seychelles. Oh, look at this. So these are the stamps that you found. And you were inspired by the Seychelles part of the journal. We better get it. Oh, look. Oh, wow. Oh, they are lovely. Hang on, the journal's disappeared. Here we go. Well, these are great. I mean, all of this would go in just quite fun like that, isn't it? But I have got some ideas for those. <laughs> Where am I? Where's the Seychelles? Oh, let's go to the Seychelles, shall we? Oh, OK, here we go. Oh, I said I was going to put some stamps in here. That would be nice. There we go. <laughs> OK, that works. Hang on, let's... What do we need? We just need... Oh, there we are. Perfect. 
They're perfect. So we might orientate them. Oh, I'll come up with something. Oh, we'll do something. That's what we'll do. We'll do something there. I love this one. The octopus and the bird. Oh, hang on. I'm getting getting carried away. Right, let's do it. We'll do that. Let's do that. that. That'll be good. And then what's this? This is... Oh, these are cool, aren't they? These are really lovely. Look at those. Aren't they brilliant? I haven't got anything like that. They are really cool. They are... Paper, I'm, bleh, bleh, can't get my words out. Oh, more. Canada. <laughs> Look, tickets. Oh, this is so exciting. This is so... Because this, this, um, this is so unexpected. LR available on the day of issue Colombo Fort Sri Lanka Sri Lanka Sri Lanka Railway Colombo Fort so I've now got extra ephemera to add in here I love these little pockets they're lovely aren't they lovely look at that one Canada. here we go so we could decorate here as well and then I can keep those safe oh wow look at this this is so pretty oh look at this isn't that super look where could that go just look isn't that stunning we can bring that in just lace makes everything better doesn't it <laughs> Sometimes just a little piece of lace just makes everything better, just all brings it all together. It's just beautiful. That is beautiful. And then some napkins. Oh, look at these. These are different. Oh. Three lovely napkins. That fun. Oh, wow. I've got a real collection going Oh, look at this. Oh, this has got... Oh, this is lovely. Look at this. Oh, they are super. Oh, my goodness. You really have spoilt me. <laughs> the berries. Blue strawberries. Oh, this is cool. I have got... I have got, I have got the idea of doing a very fun journal for the summer. I've got, a, I've got a little week in August coming up where I'm going to take a holiday on a narrow boat and I want a little fun journal and this is just, this is the sort of thing, this is the vibe, this is going to be the vibe of my fun August journal so, uh, and, uh, and probably those colours as well. Look at this, oh my gosh, where did you find this? Look at the butterflies! Oh, this is this was going to be somebody's top. <laughs> Look, and they just cut it out, but then, oh, what a great piece of fabric. What a great, well, that's all right. I will make that into something. Oh, this is going to be my August journal. That's what that's all about then. Oh, thank you, Canada. Look at this. What a lovely, lovely selection. I am so pleased. I'm so pleased that that arrived today. And um, that just shows kindness rippling around the world, doesn't it? There we go. I can't thank you enough. Thank you very much, S. You know who you are from, from High Rivers in Canada. All right. Mojo back intact. Thanks to Canada. I'm going to have a little go at doing something with the envelope that I've been sent, which has been covered in this washi tape, which is really fun. It's got some really nice quotations. What so I've also got are these envelopes here that have been floating about. They're more modern ones with a sticky down bit there, but they've got a slight strength to them. And I'm just considering doing something here. This is already open because that's where I cut it open. Cut this bit open on the other side as well. And it is open all the way through. So it's a tube, okay? Okay, I'm just adding some Fabri-Tac here and then I'm going to bring in this scrap. Move that off. Pull that in. Put 
the same again, just putting the glue all the way around, coming down over the fold and see what happens, just making this up as I go. <laughs> if you go right up to the edge, you leave yourself a scrap rather than putting it in the middle, so we now get that bit to keep for something else. So we'll just keep that bit and then roughly come round. In fact, if I tear it, we'll get the fray. Okay, we've added glue to the envelope, so now I'm going to just fit this in like that. Glue that down. Same on this side. So we just hook it in. So now I'm left with that and I've got these in here. I've got pockets. I've got the pocket from the envelope and I've got pockets from the original envelope. Same on the other side. What I've got here is some very thin, very strong little magnets and you can get these um, I got these from eBay. They're about three millimetres and they are the super strong. I'll try and leave a link for these. They're very flat and they're very strong. I'm going to use them to do a magnetic closure on either side. I've been wanting to do this for ages and I finally found them. Those are the sort of things that get a bit lost around the craft room. So I'm going to take one and put it on a piece of packaging tape and then I'm going to just put it in here roughly where I think the center is like that and then do the same on the other side okay now if it's not right I can reposition that tape but I'm just going to put a thumb hole in here roughly where I think Same on this side. And now I'm going to get another magnet and put it over here so it finds its friend and one here. And there we are, it finds where it wants to be. And then I just take the tape off here and see if I can get that to stick there. That's great. Same here. Get that to stick, so that's lovely. So those are now stuck. And then what I'm going to do is cover this up with some decorative paper here. The decorative paper is just going to slot in there and go down. And then I think I'll just get the ripping ruler and just tear that off. trim around here and I can ink that edge. Same again on this and I'm just going to go inside the envelope a bit just so that I bring that coloured paper in. I just slot that in. Tear that down and trim round to add in a bit of scrap of um, book page here just so that when we see the peep through we just see something of interest and then same again on the other side we've just got a bit of scrapbook paper here or digital kit I'm not sure what but it's musical notes going in this one okay it turns out it needed another magnet just to make it stay shut they're not as strong as they need to be so they are quite small so i'm just going to glue on an embellishment over the top of that so adding the embellishment on top there i've just got these little lace flowers that i'm putting on here little embellishment on the top of that extra magnet and just gluing down over the top so it looks like a little uh, button in there it just looks like a little button and shows you that that's the pocket i'm just using my pen with the disappearing ink and i'm giving myself quite a wide border around this piece so that i can tear it if possible 
and just create a fray and I can sort of do a controlled rip as best I can and then come round and just give myself that's a lovely strip just that that's a lovely strip for something else. And then there's plenty more to play with. And what I might do is give it a little press. Okay, so now we've got the front cover that just wants a bit of a press. I'm going to sew this on here just because I want to keep that washi tape on. I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch all the way along just for a decorative edge on there and then it doesn't matter about the back because we'll be covering that up. Okay, I love the way that this is developing. So we've got the pockets here looking great and then we've got this outside but this is this is now becoming a little bit more substantial so I'm thinking I might need to this could even become a really cute journal cover a very very mini little pocket one and I've had a look here at the stamps that I've been sent and I'm thinking that these could come and be embellishments up the top which would make sense and if I sew them on that would be great and I also thought I could put one of the little tickets that I've been given and just add those as embellishments. So that's the idea behind all of that. But what I'm thinking I'm going to do now, which is a bit radical, so stick with me, is I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to just eyeball it and cut it in half. There we go. So now I've got a front and a back. Good. What's that? Half an inch gap. And I'm going to use my parcel tape here. Just bring that in like that. Okay, I've got some um I've got some tape here, tie back tape, sort of plastic industrial tape. It's mammoth tape actually, but it's a little bit more substantial. I'm just going to put that there to give me some strength. It's only because I, I've just found this. <laughs> there we go. So now I've got a bit more of a spine. Squash that down, make sure it's all stuck. That gives me more of a flexible spine. We know that that's going to shut now. Because I'm working with white fabric, I'm just going to line it with white paper. That's it. And then I can just stick that in. And then we can mute out any of the any of the discoloration. Okay, and I'm also going to cut my fabric in half as well. Okay, so I'm just going to iron my pieces and then I'm going to sew on my stamps like that and then I'm going to fix the whole lot front and back onto this little booklet here. Let's see how we go with that. And I might use some heat and bond here as well just to strengthen everything up when I'm sewing. So uh, and then that will glue down on there, hopefully with an iron. We'll see how I get on. Okay, so I've ironed on some heat and bond here to the back of the, the what will be the back cover. This is the front cover and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and I'm just going to stick these down just with a little blob in the middle because I'm not going to touch that with my sewing needle but I'm just going to lightly place them where I want them just with a little blob of glue in the middle there and then I can see where I want to capture them in on the sewing machine and they just prevent them from moving. So we've got the Seychelles and we've got Canada with butterflies and botanicals. Then we've got this lovely blue butterfly which is absolutely perfect. And then we've got this going to be here. We'll have a gap there and then I'll find another strip that I can just glue on. Then I'll fix on my book page here. So let's just show you. So heat and bond is an iron-on glue and then you just remove that bit 
and then all we do is just iron that on to where we want it. Okay, this is how we're looking so far. I've got these sewn on, this is looking great. Inside I've put a strip of fabric down there and um, that is that was just the bit that I tore off the edge of here. So that's all cool, looks like it's been stamped on but that's actually the print on the fabric. It's linen, it's quite cool. Um, I think I'm going to have my ticket down there and then I'm going to bring in this on the edge somehow, something like that. So that is the plan. Okay, this is coming out great. I've got the strip down the side there and now I'm just putting on some background texture with this script stamp and I'm using Hickory Smoke in Archival uh, Distress Ink from Ranger. That's the Tim Holtz one, so this is a grey and it's got a, um, a pe like a ink splodge on there and I just want to capture that and see if I can have sort of the ink splodge effect about there. So I'm just putting in a touch here and there just so that it looks like a letter going on behind and um, just want a word there, see if I can get that word there, that's better. And then just a little bit down the bottom just to bring that all in. There we go, that's great. And then I think this is going to go on there anyway. I'm just bringing in the trim that I've been sent with a bit of Fabri-Tac down the side. That's it, this is fantastic. I'm going to write the year on this little scrap of paper here using my Ferris wheel fountain pen, which is actually <laughs> a Canadian pen. And uh, the company Ferris wheel press is, um, I believe, in Toronto. So there we go. It has been a very Canadian video today. I've no idea why. It's just just seems to be that way. Sometimes I get a lot of, um, uh, you know, a lot from New Zealand and Australia, uh, America obviously and the UK of course, but it's nice that um, we've got a little bit of interest coming from Canada and I absolutely adore what has been created here. This is so wonderful what's been sent to me and what has come out of that. That creativity is just you know kick-started me. I really really was struggling uh, this morning and now I have gently done this throughout the day having breaks and I've put this together and we've got a cover for which to now bind in some pages and two amazing little pockets here which have, is there almost like a little file in there so that we can add the ephemera or the things and I think you know when I go away let's just Let's just say, you know, these are these are things that could be collected when you're on your travels. There's now a place to store them. And then maybe over here this is this could be something else that gets collected up. I I like to sometimes collect seeds and things. Um, or petals. You know, that's that's really nice and it's all locked away. So yes, there's room for binding, room for quite a few pages in there, a mini little journal. And um, it's soft, remember, because it's just a, it's just an envelope. It's still in there, you can see it. <laughs> it's, it's just a postal envelope, so it's lovely, lovely and flexible and soft because of the fabric but strong as well really really cool really simple no reason why anyone couldn't do that you could just cover an envelope with some fabric to give it some strength little bit of trim down the side uh, postage stamps an old ticket and um, 
you know, all these extra bits you can collect up if you haven't got them, and then some stamping on top of some fabric. And to be able to use everything that I've been sent and to really be proud of what I've created, I'm delighted. So thank you so much, S from Canada, from High Rivers. I am so very thankful for everything that you sent me. And I shall add the extra stamps to the Marion North Journal. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope that this was of interest to you. I will bind in some pages and I'll show you the completed version in the next video. And if you'd like to hear more from me on a weekly basis, I do put out a podcast. You can find the link below and that is available on Apple Podcast, on Spotify and um, various other platforms. Just look up the treasured page and you can follow along. And it's just something nice to listen to while you're crafting. And if you'd like to make your own little journal, these are ways in which you can do them. So thanks for watching and above everything else, just slow down and make crafting time for you. Bye bye now. <laughs> <laughs>